to the third part of polygons. In our previous class, we were talking about outer angles of a triangle. And we said outer angle of a triangle is always 360 degree. Today, let us work out problems in page number 51. Come to the first question. Two angles of a triangle are 40 degree and 60 degree. Calculate all its outer angles. To get an idea, I have drawn a figure here. ABC is a triangle. Let me mark the angles now. Angles are 40 and 60. So, let this angle be equal to 40 degree and let this angle be equal to 60 degree. Now we know sum of all angles in a triangle to be equal to 180 degree. So what can you say about the angle at C? Angle at C would be 180 minus of 60 plus 40. You get 80 degree. Now we know all the inner angles of the triangle. Now it is easy for us to write the outer angles. Because we know inner angle plus outer angle at each vertex of a polygon forms a linear pair. So outer angle at A would be equal to 180 minus 40 which is equal to 140 degree. And outer angle at B. 180 minus 60 gives you 120 degree. Outer angle at C, 180 minus 80 which gives you 100 degree. Now if you add the three angles, you will understand sum of outer angles of this triangle to be equal to 360 degree. Is it okay? Come to the second question. Compute all angles in the figure. They have marked two angles. One inner angle and one outer angle in the figure. We have to find the remaining angles. So first of all what we can do. Let us name this triangle as ABC. Let us find the inner angle at B. How do you write this angle? This angle can be written as angle A, B, C. Inner angle at B. We know these two angles form a linear pair. So inner angle at B is equal to 180 minus 105 which gives you 75 degree. So let us mark 75 degree here. Now let us write the third angle at C. 35 plus 75 gives you 110 degree. So what is this inner angle at C? It is equal to 70 degree. Because sum of these three angles is equal to 180. Now what is the outer angle at C? Outer angle at C would be 180 minus 70 which is equal to 110 degree. Outer angle at A. What do you get? 180 minus 35 which gives you 10 minus 5, 5, 7 minus 3, 4. So you get 145 degree. Outer angle at B, we already know. So let us write that to be equal to 105. If you add the sum of these three angles, what do you get here? You get 360 degree. So once again you can understand sum of outer angles of a triangle is equal to 360 degree. Look at the third question children. Compute all outer angles of a quadrilateral. You are given a quadrilateral and all four sides are extended outside. Three angles are given for us. First of all, let us find the fourth angle. We know sum of all angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360. 
60 degree. So to get the fourth angle, what we do from 360 degree, let us subtract the sum of the given three angles. So what do you get? You get 360 minus 260 which gives you 100 degree. From this you can understand the fourth angle to be equal to 100 degree. Now to find the outer angles, we use the idea of linear pair. We know inner angle plus outer angle at each vertex forms a linear pair. So let us complete the outer angles of this quadrilateral. So outer angle at this point will be equal to 180 minus 60 which is equal to 120 degree. Outer angle at this vertex will be equal to 180 minus 70 which is equal to 110 degree. Outer angle at this vertex will be equal to 180 minus 130 which gives you 50 degree. Outer angle at this vertex would be equal to 80 degree. Just add all the outer angles. You will understand. Outer angles of a quadrilateral also adds up to 360 degree. Okay. Come to the fourth question. Calculate all angles in the figure. Again, you are given a four-sided figure. A quadrilateral. In which three angles are marked. By looking at 115, we can write the inner angle. So, what is the inner angle? This angle would be 180 minus 115 degree. 10 minus 5, 5. 7 minus 1, 6. Therefore, this angle is equal to 65 degree. Now, we know three angles of the quadrilateral. Let us write the fourth angle. From 360 degree, we subtract the sum of these three angles. 100 plus 75 plus 65. So what do you get? 360 minus of 5 plus 5, 10. 14, 1 balance, 240 degree. That is equal to 120 degree. So you can say this angle to be equal to 120 degree. Now write the outer angle at this vertex. Since this is 120 degree, outer angle is equal to 180 minus 120 which is equal to 60 degree. Now let us write the outer angle at this vertex. This is 75, therefore the outer angle is 180 minus 75 which is equal to 105. Now if you see this point, the two lines are extended. So there are four angles formed. We can write all the four angles. Since this is 100, we can write this angle to be also equal to 100. It is because in 7th standard you have studied vertically opposite angles formed are equal. Now let us write the remaining angle. We can write this angle to be equal to 80 degree because 100 plus 80 gives you 180 degree. Since this is 80, this angle is also equal to 80 degree. Same reason. Vertically opposite angles formed are equal. Is it okay? Come to the last question. Prove that in any triangle, the outer angle at a vertex is equal to the sum of the inner angle at the other two vertices. A important proof which you need for your higher classes also. To prove it, I have drawn a triangle ABC and AB is extended to a point E. Okay. Now, we know sum of all angles in a triangle to be equal to 180 degree. That is angle A plus angle C plus angle at B. I have to write it as angle A, B, C. Because 
two angles are formed at the vertex B. So we can write angle A, B, C to be equal to 180 degree. From this we can write angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degree minus angle ABC. Let us name this as the first equation. Okay. From this we can write inner angle plus outer angle at the vertex B forms a linear pair. So we can write angle at B that is angle ABC plus angle CBE to be equal to 180 degree or otherwise angle CBE is equal to 180 degree minus of angle ABC. Now let us name this as the second equation. Now by looking at the first and second equation, you can understand A plus C is 180 minus ABC. Angle CBE is also 180 minus angle ABC. So what did you understand till then? From this we come to a conclusion. Angle A plus angle C is equal to angle C B E. That is outer angle at a vertex is equal to the sum of inner angles at the other two vertices. More questions we will be discussing in our next video. Thank you, children.